welcome to another episode of Geo Shifters Space News. Do you know the feeling when you shoot a ceiling fan into space and it keeps flying for 1.74 billion miles and after 5 years you hit the brake and start to slow down almost arriving on Jupiter and then finally the sound of the handbrake Stations on Juno Accord, we have the tone for burn cutoff on Delta B. Roger, so move Juno. Juno, welcome to Jupiter. That's what our friends at NASA did. They converted a ceiling fan into a spaceship and flew it to Jupiter. After five years, you would expect a million pictures from NASA, but no. Much better. We got a time lapse and it's awesome. You know, so many flat earthers complained that we don't have footage that shows satellites in space. Well, here it is. Look at this amazing footage. This time lapse begins with images taken when Juno was 10 million miles from Jupiter and ends at 3 million miles distant. How cool that those satellites look the same from every distance. That's how we can see satellites from the Earth. It doesn't matter if they are billions of miles far, you can always see them because they are satellites. What many of you don't know is that this Juno mission is a manned mission, so it's very dangerous and risky. Here are the three astronauts. For five years they have voyaged through space, going farther and faster than any LEGO minifigures have ever traveled before. They are heroes. Maybe you are wondering, did they have sex? You know, five years is a long time, so... Well, I can answer that question, but thanks to a hangout a few days ago, a hangout that I was watching, I found out about this. Astronauts test sex in space. This is an article from The Guardian from 2000. US and Russian astronauts have had sex in space for separate research programs on how human beings might survive years in orbit, according to a book published yesterday. Pierre Kohler, a respected French writer, says that the subject is taboo both at NASA and at Mission Control in Moscow, but that the cosmic couplings have taken place. The issue of sex in space is a serious one, he says. He cites a confidential NASA report on a space shuttle mission in 1996. A project codenamed STSXX was to explore sexual positions possible in a weightless atmosphere. Twenty positions were tested by computer simulation to obtain the best ten, he says. Two guinea pigs then tested them in real zero gravity conditions. The results were videotaped, but are considered so sensitive that even NASA was only given a censored version. Only four positions were found possible without mechanical assistance. Maybe you are thinking, God damn it, this must be a joke. Well, you are right, because at the top of the article it says, this note was added on 30 January 2010. So that means the article was true for 10 years, but then they said it was a hoax. God damn it, The Guardian. 